Welcome to Phil Winter's Peak, where Bungie left a sneaky jumping puzzle that leads to a dormant Seaver cluster and all the wealth, glory, and majesty of the universe. I made the second part up, but man, is it frustrating to be beaten by your own X button. Here's how to avoid the biggest traps and make it to the top ASAP. Once you get going, the first few jumps are easy enough. I think you're supposed to go right initially, but I go left and jump across because it feels badass. And I'm a moron. Continue the obvious climb upwards until you reach the first plateau. You don't need a sprint to make these two drops, but don't let go of forward or X to get the maximum distance from your jump. The third jump is deceptively far, so do yourself a favor and sprint this one every time. This is one of the only jumps you'll actually need to sprint. Again, no real traps for a while. Just take the obvious path upwards. Until you reach this crest. Major troll by Bungie. Do not hug the left wall like you instinctively want to. That thing will knock you off every time. Instead, stand as far to the right as possible, then make the jump. Then just a few jumps later, there's of course another trap, which I fell for. Do not hug the right wall for this one, or you'll get knocked off. Instead, cover around to the left to avoid that annoying overhang. Now I freaked out here and sprinted this jump, but you did not need to sprint. In fact, you probably shouldn't. But this next upward jump is, in my opinion, the hardest jump in this whole puzzle, at least until I figured it out. Do not hug the right wall as I do here because you will instantly regret it. I made this mistake many times. It took me a little while to work out what was going on. Instead, stand to the left and aim to jump right up onto that tiny flat little ramp in the middle there. Next, take the obvious ramp upwards until you get to the next trap. Now this gap jump looks so easy and doable, but again, don't hug the right because there's a troll rock jutting out that you can't see until you jump. So do what I'm doing here, back up a little, and then sprint jump straight across. And by straight, I mean straight, not right. So you're nearly there. Almost immediately you'll find this innocent looking slopey rock. Don't land on the slope like I did. Make sure you hit the top first go, because that slope will insta-boot you. With this final little upward climb, you'll reach a left or right choice. And again, I chose the wrong path and went right to my own peril. Go left. A few short hops later, you'll see the top. Sprint jump your way across. Text all your friends immediately and expect a congratulatory letter from Obama at any moment. That's all there is to it. If this video successfully taught you how to press X, why not take your training one step further and press the like button for me. Who knows what might happen? JK, I know. I'll kiss you on the mouth. I'll kiss you right on your goddamn mouth. I'm the Jazz God Bless and happy jumping, you super cute little jumping jack jumper. Jump, 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 jump. No time for an intro. Let's talk Memory of Fell Winter. It's a new artifact coming in Rise of Iron. I'm sure you've seen it. Now, it's amazing on paper. And I thought to myself, double wombo combo, and I get to lose the dumb void bow. Surely, this is a win-win. Surprisingly, it's just not that good.